Hi there, and welcome to another grammar tip. Now, this is about verb tense, and it's with a very specific verb, and that verb is become. Now, this is a really interesting word because it means to become something else, right? So it intrinsic in its meaning, within its meaning, there is something that was a before and then it transitioned to something else. And the reason why I wanna discuss this verb is it's usually used incorrectly, especially in writing task number two. And what usually tends to happen is that you would like to say something like, the internet has become a vital part of our lives. Or computers have become an important part of our lives. And so what we want to express there is that the internet, computers, it happened sometime in the past that was unspecific and is still true today, right now in the present moment. And therefore we are using the present perfect. And for some reason, whoop, we forget the present perfect or you forget the present perfect while you're writing and it doesn't come out as such, okay? So I wanna really distinguish between how this word become works in the present tense in the simple past tense and in the present perfect as well as the past perfect. So let's take a look at this because here's my advice, all right? Before we even take a look at anything, my advice is if you write the word become in your TOEFL essay or any writing, pause and just think for a minute. Am I talking about something that started sometime in the past and is still true right now? Present perfect. Or am I talking about something in the past that's done, finished, over? Or am I talking about something that's a fact? It's just true no matter what. Okay, so think about those things. Let's look at the verb tenses and get some practice with these so we can see how they work in action and I just want to start with the very simple review of the present tense form of this word become, right? So in the present tense, remember present tense is for things that are factual, things that are usual or habitual. So for example, I become sad when I see a dog without a home. Okay, it just, it's a fact. For me, it happens every single time. Every single time I see one of those dog commercials where they're all sad in their cages and they don't have families to go to, I become sad. That's just a fact, okay? Past tense, this is for situations where it is done, it's over, it's finished. It happened sometime in the past at a specific time and now it is over. So I became upset yesterday when I realized I forgot to do my homework, okay? So it, I'm expressing an event from yesterday. I became sad when I realized I didn't do my homework. <laughs> I became upset. Um, so that's something that emotion is done and it's finished, it happened yesterday and now I'm no longer upset, okay? That would be became. And the past participle, so we're gonna use this with present perfect tense, I have become, or I had become. Let me demonstrate with an example. I think it's always useful to look at as, as many examples as possible. So let's say um, we go back to our example of the internet. The internet has become an important part of our lives. Computers have become an integral part of our lives. So it started some unspecific time in the past, but it's still true 
right now, okay? So let's move on and see a little bit more of how this works through some examples. So tell me what tense this is. When she is happy, got the present tense, right? When she is happy, her blue eyes become green. It's just a fact. This is usually what happens to her. On January 1st, 1999. Oh, this is a date in the past. So notice this simple past tense. She became my best friend. It's done. It's over. It happened on this date. Number three, we have become lazier with the advent of technology. Now, most of the time when you write become, you want to express in the present perfect tense, have become. Okay, it's just, it's probably your situation on the TOEFL. Okay, is what I'm saying. And notice have become, that's the present perfect. In number four, we're gonna see an example of the past perfect. He promised to meet me at 6 p.m. By the time 7 p.m. rolled around, it had become clear to me that he wasn't coming. Okay, so it's this sentence in particular, and I just wanna break it up into two parts, okay? so that we can understand, I'm not gonna talk a lot about the past perfect tense. We don't use it all that much, quite honestly, but in certain situations, we use the past perfect. And that situation would be, we have two events that are in the past. So here is one event in the past, and here is the other event in the past. So two events in the past, and the one that comes first, the first event, okay, is going to get the past perfect usage, okay, had become clear. So it was really before seven o'clock, okay, if I were looking at a timeline, uh, you know, 6 p.m., he's not there, he's not there, he's not there, he's not there, and by the time by that time, 7 p.m. rolled around, meaning, okay, not there. <laughs> and by the time 7 p.m. rolled around, which is somewhere around here, it had become clear to me. So at some point before 7 p.m., this was the first event that happened, it had become clear to me that he wasn't coming. And 7 p.m. was actually the second event that happened in the past. Okay, so let's look at some um, examples where you are gonna guess, and I'm gonna give you a moment just to really think about it, okay? Think about the tense that is necessary. Every day, this should be a good clue, every day we, more beautiful and loving. I hope you guessed present tense because every day, is a habit, habitual occurrence. It happens every day. I brush my teeth every day, right? It's present tense. So every day we become more beautiful and loving. Okay, how about this one? The day I married her, she, my partner in life. The day I married her. Well, this is in the past tense, right? The day I married her, it's some day in the past. Maybe it was last year, maybe it was last month, maybe it was 10, 20, 50 years ago, right? But we want the simple past tense. She became my partner in life. Okay, let's move on. Number three, here we go with the computers. Computers, something, an important part of people's lives. So this is usually where I see the grammatical mistake happen. And the question to ask is, is it still true right now? 
Is it still true? And is it true so it started sometime in the past? To me, that would make sense, right? To use the present perfect, we're gonna use have become because it started at some point on specific time in the past, still true today. How about this one? We too dependent on GPS devices. GPS. So this would be using your phone for directions. Do you think this is done and over, or do you think it's still true right now? I think it's still true right now, right? <laughs> so we're gonna write have become. It started sometime in the past, it's still true right now, present perfect tense is what we want. Okay, the caterpillar, eventually a butterfly. Now, it might be the case that I saw a caterpillar yesterday and that and I watched that caterpillar do something and it completed the task. But it seems to me, right, the caterpillar eventually, this seems like a fact, right? Like all caterpillars, this is true, no matter what situation it is, right? It's just, it's just a fact. So I would go for just simple present tense here. The caterpillar eventually becomes a butterfly and I wanna express that as a fact. Okay. In the movie, the pen, something, a metaphor for the revolution. Now, this is an interesting one because it sounds like we are summarizing the movie, okay? And we either want to summarize this using present tense, simple present. You could argue that you saw the movie yesterday and so you want to express um, this in the past tense. You know, you watched the movie, this happened, this happened, this happened, and the pen became a metaphor for the revolution. It's possible. However, I'd like to point out to you that in academia, a lot of times when we're summarizing either a book or a movie, a lot of times this is in the present tense. So this is writer's choice. I would say either one will work here. In the movie, the pen becomes a metaphor or the pen became a metaphor. Either one is grammatically correct. Okay, here's a very specific time and it's yesterday. Yesterday at two o'clock, I am mm, sick. Simple past tense here because we have a very specific date and time. By the time the ambulance arrived, I sicker. Okay, so in this situation, we actually have that two events happening in the past, right? So we have this event, which happened, and then this event that happened. And this event came first, right? Sicker, 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 ambulance arrived. So the sicker part happened first, which means we can use the past perfect tense here, had become. By the time the ambulance arrived, I had become sicker. Okay, once again, technology, an integral force. Is it still true today? I would say so. I'm gonna use present perfect tense there. Technology has become an integral force. All right, and here's one for the TOEFL test takers, right? She something sick of repeatedly taking the TOEFL exam. Now, Writer's choice, right? You as the writer, you have to determine is, um, is the situation that 
she still is trying to get her TOEFL score and it's not over yet. It's still true right now. She is still sick of taking the test. If that's the case, has become present perfect. But if you are describing a situation, let's say that this woman is, um, you know, you were, she had this situation happen to her five years ago. Okay. Um, and now you want to express this whole thing taking place in the past and now it's done and it's over with. You can say simple past tense. She became sick of repeatedly taking the TOEFL exam. So maybe she took it five years ago and didn't get her score. She took it four years ago and didn't get her score. And she became so sick of repeatedly taking the TOEFL exam. She finally got her score. The end of the story, right? It's done, it's over. Simple past is what you need. All right. So again, my advice to you is this. When you write or speak the word become, just pause. And you can't all the time pause and you're speaking, I get it. But when you're not on the TOEFL test and you're talking in English, just pause with the word become and think about it. Say, okay, is this a situation where something started in the past at an unspecific time and it's still true right now? Is that what I wanna say? Then use the present perfect tense. A lot of times you'll be using present perfect tense with become. Okay, I hope that grammar tip helps and I'll see you next time. Happy studying.